Hey peoples, what's up? It's Keovids here, and today I'm going to do uh, my first After Effects tutorial on automatic screen pumps and flashes. So once you're done with your edit and you've rendered it out completely, you're going to uh, port it back into After Effects with uh, just your uh, just your video here. So you're going to take the video and just make it into a composition itself. So you have the video here, right? And you're going to Go over to effects and presets, you're going to type in bass and treble and just apply it to your video. You're going to make the bass about 50 because um, bass is louder than treble and then bass just sounds a lot better than treble. So you're going to turn 100 down, treble down to a negative 100. Right click on your episode here, go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes. Take a second. Any of this. Now go back to your video here and delete the bass and treble. Uh, go back to your audio amplitude and I'm just going to call this one flashes real quick. And then you're going to delete the left and the right channels. So you just have the both channels here. Now you're going to push U right here. So you have a bunch of these keyframes. You're going to select slider and then you're going to go over here to the graph editor and you have <laughs> this here. So now you're gonna take down notes real quick. Um, where you want the flashes to really be big, see, so you're gonna like pick one of the top ones. So mine, some of the good ones are like around here. So I'm gonna put uh, 76, I'm gonna put 76. So we gotta remember the number 76 because that's my big number. And then go down to the, like the lower numbers. I'm gonna pick 18. So 76 and 18. And we're going to alt click on the slider right here. And we're going to type in linear oops, value, and then comma, your small value. So my small value was 18, comma, and then your big value, which mine was 76, comma, 0, comma, 100. So what this means is when we put in the flashes, it's going to go up by like increments of one and it will go from low value to high value and do flashes between an opacity of zero and a hundred all right so now we've done that we're gonna add an adjustment layer call this one flashes and we're gonna type in levels whoops spelled that wrong I uh, put in levels from the audio uh, <laughs> color correction, excuse me. Right here to flashes. And just so like you can turn off graph editor. Um now I just go to somewhere and go like right here. There we go. And then you're just simply just gonna drag this down to increase the brightness. So that just looks terrible. But um <laughs> so I'm gonna make it kinda kinda bright like this. I'm gonna hit um T on my keyboard so I can see the opacity and alt click the opacity whoops alt click the stopwatch alt click there we go <laughs> and then we're going to open up u here and we're just going to pick with this to the slider here so now there we go so now if we go through this real quick push uh do that and just do just a quick preview hopefully we'll be able to see some flashes so let me know in the comments what you guys uh, think about this, me doing tutorials. I'm going to only do one or two, but I'm definitely going to kind of do little tutorials that I just make my edits a bit better and stuff. So when this is almost done, I'm not sure if it's really going to you're not gonna be able to see it in this first intro here, but you probably will be able to see it when I do the uh, cinematic or uh FLX or Felix, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. You can pronounce it any way you want. So let's see. And you can always change the levels to increase the brightness. So it looks like we got some flashes here. Let's see how, uh, how this goes. It's okay, it's almost done. And go. <laughs> All 
Alright, so you saw the flash just here towards the end going off the base. So that's pretty good. Alright, so now we've got that done. We're going to do uh, the levels. Or not the levels, the. Uh, What's it called? Uh, <laughs> the pumps. There we go. And I'm just going to add another adjustment layer and call this one pumps. We're going to drag the pumps underneath the flashes so that the pumps doesn't affect the flashes because if it does, it just gonna, it's going to look really weird. And we're just going to add some magnify here. And we're not going to add it to the flashes. We're going to add it to our our pumps. Whoops. Whoops. Add it to our pumps. There we go. And for some reason, it just it likes really weird. See, if you look towards the center right here, it's kind of just all weird. We're going to turn circle to square, so it's kind of squared. Turn mag. We're going to turn size from 100 to whatever your composition is. So if it's 1280 by 720, you're just going to type in 640, like this. And now it's kind of it's zoomed in. And then just going to simply just turn this back down to 100. All right. So now we have that set up. We're going to um, duplicate our um, audio amplitude thing. So control D duplicate. Just drag the flashes to underneath and we'll call this one. Whatever. I don't know why I just kind of screwed up there. Click U and we're going to edit this value here. Alright, so you want to change your high value up to a little bit so it doesn't always just stay magnified. So I'm going to turn mine up to like 80. 80. We're going to change the 0 to 100 because if you look at it now, this is 100 right now when it's magnified. And the second value is what it's going to be like when it hits the high value. So if we turn this to like 110, whenever it hits like near the high value, the pumps, this value right here is going to go up to 110. So it's going to go up a little bit. All right. And then simply what we do is we take the pumps. We're going to alt click the magnification here and pick whip it. I don't know why this isn't open. There we go. We're just going to pick with bit to the slider. Like so. So now if you run through it like this, so now we got the screen pumps, as you saw right there. And right there. And right there. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment and a like rating. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and share this with your friends. I'm going close to 75 subscribers, and that's what I'm going to do my giveaway. I, I said I was going to do it at 60, but I just didn't have time with finals and stuff coming up. So thank you guys so much for this, uh, for the for watching my video, and uh, I hope I see you next time. Bye.